welcome to another episode of EMA Cloud Rants. Today with Kurt Milne and Zach Killick from Cisco Cloud Center. We are talking about the abstraction of applications from their underlying infrastructure. Zach, Kurt, what is the secret sauce that you guys are offering here that nobody uh, from the competition has thought of so far that nobody can do? Founders of Clicker, Clicker got acquired by Cisco last year. Yeah. You know, they saw the API wars a while back. You know, will Amazon, will OpenStack adopt Amazon's APIs? Uh, they said, uh, you know, in the future, we think that the APIs will all be different. Right. So let's create a tool that allows people to automate deployment of an app in a way that doesn't require them to have a different tool stack for every cloud. Mm -hmm. So they created a, a, a orchestration product that allows you to model an application once and deploy it to any cloud uh, by abstracting those APIs. Uh, we have an orchestrator that goes in each cloud. So when you deploy that blueprint or that model, we call it application profile, the orchestrator converts all of those needs of that app into the API calls that are specific to that cloud. So that approach saves a lot of money over time. Mm -hmm. Zach, there are tools that have been around for a long time, even longer than Clicker, right? Like WriteScale, for example, or Scalar, or at the time Service Mesh, or Instradius, right? None of those tools, some of them are entirely gone, but none of them really have conquered the world. How come that uh, you guys seem to be gaining quite a bit of traction now? What's your, what's your secret sauce here? Yes, yeah, so I think that um, the industry is finally coming to maturity. You know, if you ask customers three years ago which clouds they're using, they would generally say vCenter or OpenStack or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now you ask them and it's vCenter, AWS, maybe some Azure, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And if you ask them, you know, in three years, what will you be using, you know, that's different from today? And they say, I don't know, right? So Cloud Center's unique abstraction and cloud agnostic or cloud neutral model makes it so that you can future-proof your cloud strategy. You model once today, and make it so that you can deploy to any of these clouds tomorrow or years afterwards. So that's really resonated with our customers, that they can consume clouds as if they're the same. Mm -hmm. And Kurt, there's also a significant cost implication, right? You built those really fancy charts uh, where you show how cost and performance correlate, or sometimes they don't correlate, right? Yep. Sometimes you get more for less money, uh, but you uh, use the actual application, deploy it, and then run the benchmark. I mean, uh, that's also an interesting uh, aspect that I, you know, find very valuable for a lot of enterprises out there that use many clouds. Yeah, because it's hard to predict how, what your cloud bill is going to be. Right. So you can. Look at a Amazon or Azure rate card, and you can do spreadsheet modeling. Yeah. And uh, what we actually do, because we have that cloud agnostic approach, we can actually live deploy an application in multiple clouds, run some basic uh, metrics to determine application performance, and then see how the performance changes as you go from cloud to cloud or in different regions, or even with different instance sizes of particular tiers in a single cloud region. So if you look at it as an Azure's rate, rate card, basically, mm. each step up basically doubles the price, but doubling that price doesn't necessarily give you twice as much performance. Mm. So by actually benchmarking and looking at performance versus price, you can determine, does it make sense to pay more to get more, and when does it not? Mm. Um, but we've even found that you know if you give developers a credit card and they go deploy in the cloud, they usually pick the bigger size just in case, yeah. and they usually get some solid state drive with that. Oh, yeah. You know, so just knowing what the optimum is, putting that in a blueprint, and then having everybody use that makes their life easier and actually lowers your cloud bill. Yeah, and our research also shows that customers do not understand uh, their workloads and their applications in many cases, right? They don't know how much database latency is too much, right? Maybe I can stomach a lot of uh, network latency in certain areas. Maybe you know, my, my application is more robust than I'm actually thinking and will run on a deployment target. That I did not actually uh, anticipate. So, uh, on the other side, uh, the offerings are also constantly changing from the public clouds, right? And it's impossible to keep track of those offerings and how much everything costs and how the t shirt sizes of the VMs are changing all the time. So, uh, basically, you have two different moving targets that you have to kind of bring together for an optimal compromise between risk and cost. And uh, that is the value prop of, uh, of Cloud Center. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, this was another episode of EMA Cloud Rants. Mm -hmm.